we are back to unbox the next Game of Thrones box from Culture Fly. Uh, this is a quarterly box that they just started this year along with um, a couple of others that I have signed on for. Um, it is, like I mentioned, a quarterly box I did sign up for the year. And since we are apparently not getting the next season of Game of Thrones until 2019, uh, for now getting Game of Thrones stuff in the mail is going to have to kind of suffice as our fill for Game of Thrones um, stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what was included this time around. Uh, I don't remember what their theme was this time uh, so maybe it'll show us now I don't want to take a look at the spoiler card yet but here's the artwork on it and it doesn't actually okay so without looking at the items on here it looks like the theme is Northland Beyond the Wall so apparently these are all things that are going to be associated with Beyond the Wall so the first thing we have is something very furry. What on earth is this? It is a big strapping thing with, <laughs> what is this? It's leather. It's uh, officially licensed. Um, what is this? Built by Culture Fly, uh, made in China. Doesn't actually say what it is. I was gonna say like it's a belt, but it's not a belt because there's no way to fasten it. Uh, it's got these leather panels on it and then fur on here. So it seems like it's supposed to be like a thing. I don't know how to describe it, uh, but it's got the um, Stark emblem on it. So, I th is this might be like part of the Night Watch thing? I don't know. We're going to have to take a look at the spoiler card and figure out what exactly this is, but it's very leathery and very furry, whatever it is. Alright. So, next up, aside from some air pillows, which I'm going to pop and get out of here, we have, oh look, a coaster set. I have so many coasters at this point. Uh, but this is the um, Westeros Sigils coasters. So I'm guessing that each house will have their own coaster. And I'm going to guess, because this is kind of par for the course with these coaster sets that these are going to be cork-backed. That's kind of normal for these kinds of things. So, yep, they are cork-backed coasters. So we have uh, Lannister, the Lannister Lion. We have this one that I'm blanking on, the, um, the squid. Does it say in the back? It doesn't say. So you're going to have to help me out. I don't remember all of these sigils. We have our fish, which has got to be the, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we have the Stark one. And then we have our um, Targaryen. What is that one called? <sighs> this is the problem when you haven't watched it in a little while. You forget names of things. Um, the, the fishing one. The fishing family. What is their name? I can't. I can't think of it. But you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, anyway, 
coasters. Uh, next up, we have another one of these banner pins, and I, I really like these. They had one last time. Um, so this time we got House of Stark and the Winter is Coming emblem. So these are actually really, really cool. I'm glad that they're including these, and I'm excited about seeing the other two that will come out. I'm assuming it's going to be Stark and, and Targaryen, but we'll see. Our shirt this time around is, oh, <laughs> I'm not going to say what this is if you haven't seen it, but if you have, you know exactly what this is, and yeah, no. okay, that made me a little sad, that was a sad thing, all right. <laughs> okay, we have a journal, which is also not uncommon in boxes. Uh, journals are actually fairly common in these boxes, but I have to admit this is kind of funny. It's a black hardcover journal and <laughs> silver. Oh, it's a blank book, so it's um, not lined. It's definitely more like a sketch pad material and it's got the bookmark associated with it <laughs> but on the front in silver it says things Jon Snow knows so I think that's really funny so <laughs> all right we'll hold on to that um, next up we have a metal Oh, it's a bottle opener. Oh, funny. That's funny. So we have a bottle opener that is, uh, you know, our giant. Big metal giant. I wish it were magnetic. Maybe it is magnetic and I can't tell. But it would be nice if it were magnetic. Because that would certainly make it easier to have available. Um, we have in here a print, King in the North, kind of a neat little art print. And then the last thing in here is our vinyl figure. Now last time we got Ghost as our vinyl figure, and this time we got the Three-Eyed Raven really like these vinyl figures and I'm excited to see what more they do with them so excited for that so there is our Game of Thrones box um, let me put this back together again a little bit here and then let's take a look at the spoiler card because I still don't understand what this is other than being furry and leathery and kind of smelling a little weird um, I think it's like the, like a shoulder panel thing that you wear, like a prop, but, oh, they're, they're calling it a scarf, is what they're calling it. I would never wear it as a scarf, but there you go. Alright, so we have the King in the North poster, the coaster set, the House Stark enamel pin, the uh, bottle opener, 1-1, one, 1-1 one. One, one was the name of the giant, um, the graphic tee and the journal. So that is our Game of Thrones second box. Let me know what you thought about this one. I think I liked the first one better, but I still enjoyed the second one. And I'm excited to see what they bring me in the third, especially with regard to the, um, the vinyl figure and the pin. Uh, the banner pin, those are definitely the two elements of this box that I'm enjoying the most. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with those with the future box. So we'll see you then. Let me know what you thought of this box down below. Bye.